What's up guys? Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video I wanted to talk you through a quick way that you can use in order to create stairs inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so there's a bunch of different ways to create stairs in SketchUp, right? So one of the ways that you can do that is you can, um, let's say that we needed a stair to run in this little, uh, this little area right here so that we can get to this elevated point. So there's a few ways you can do that. There, one way you can do that is you could measure the height of this, right? So it's nine foot, and let's say we were gonna have six inch risers, we would know that that's going to basically require 18 risers to get up nine feet. So you could draw a tread like this one, and then use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy. So um, tap the M key, click on this corner and tap the control key to create a copy, and then type in times 17 and hit the enter key. So that's gonna give you the profile of a bunch of different treads. And you could use this in order to push pull these up, right? So I could push pull this up every six inches. And then notice how your offset is limited here. You can tap the control key to do a longer offset. But the problem with this is you basically have to manually enter every height, right? So now this would be 18 inches, this would be 24 inches, and then you would just have to keep manually entering these heights in here. And so I'm not a giant fan of doing it this way, though there is a place and a time where that uh, makes sense. So what I might do instead is instead of creating all these different profiles in here and push pulling them, probably what I would do is I would start by modeling out the profile of your steps on the side. So I'm gonna draw a line from the top that's six inches. I'm gonna draw a line out that's 12 inches. Then you can do that again. So six, 12, like this. Well, once you have this in here, what you can do is you can select those short edges like this. So I'm just doing a shift click. And then you can use the move tool in copy mode to copy this profile, right? So again, tap the M key, tap the control key so the little plus shows up and then click right here. And then you can just type in times and a number of copies. So in this case, when I say times, um, you can either type X or I'm typing star. And then for me, I'm gonna type in maybe a value of like, let's say six. Um, if that doesn't work, you can type in times seven, times eight, right there. And so what that's done is that's allowed me to create the profile of my steps. Well, now I can just fill this in and uh, notice how if you push pull this and it's hollow, you can tap the control key in order to go into create new face mode like this. But now what that allowed me to do is that allowed me to really quickly create these steps inside of SketchUp. And then one other thing is if this wasn't going to be a solid stair, like in this case it will, right? It's just gonna be an on grade stair. But if it wasn't, what you could do is you could draw a line here and you could draw a line down 12 inches like this, and then draw a diagonal line across. And then you could push pull this across in order to remove that extra material if you did want to create a stair that wasn't um, solid all the way down to the ground. All right, so then just real quick, there's a lot of ways you could create stair rails, but let's say that you just wanted to do something really simple. Well, what you could do is we're just going to draw a line out, maybe like, we'll call it four inches right here. Um, but then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some guidelines that are gonna make up our rails. So I'm just gonna draw a line that's 36 inches high, like this. And then I'm gonna make a copy of this rail, or this uh, guideline. So again, I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode, and I'm gonna create a copy right here, right? So basically what I've got is I've got a top rail and a bottom rail. And then I'm just going to draw a line up to this point right here. And so what that's gonna allow me to do is that's going to allow me to generate a tube that follows along this. And we'll worry about the intermediates in a second because that's a little bit more complicated. But I'm just going to assume that this tube is maybe going to have a diameter of an inch. So I'm gonna type in a value of one right here. So I've created this circle. Well then I can select these edges right here. And then we're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna activate the follow me tool. And we're just gonna click right here. So what that's done is that's allowed me to create a really quick rail inside of SketchUp. And then if you wanted some other rails in here, all we have to do is just draw them in here a little bit manually. So I'm just going to draw a line in that's four inches. Then I'll just do the same thing where I create that circle. So that circle is gonna be an inch and I'm gonna erase this and I'm just gonna push pull it up until it intersects with my rail right here. And so you just wanna put that in to a point where it's no longer showing up in here, 
like this. So something like this. And again, you're getting a little bit of overlap, but for 99% of the time, it's really not going to matter. But then if we take this, and obviously we could get more detailed with this, but we're not gonna worry about that for this video. We just use the move tool in copy mode and just create a couple more copies, right? And again, notice how I'm using this point right here as my base point. So that way I can just find the midpoint of another stair. But we're gonna find a point right here. Then I'm just gonna type in times two and hit the enter key. And so you can see how creating this simple rail was really easy just by following these steps. All right, so I'll link to some other SketchUp tips on this page. If you are interested in learning how to use SketchUp, um, you want some more in-depth help, you can check out the SketchUp Essentials course. We have another one of our live calls where you can ask questions later on tonight, as well as over 14 hours of SketchUp instruction and community forum where you can go to ask questions as well. So if that's something you're interested in, I will link to that on this page, or you can go to the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.